Hi, it's me again with, with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file, and they think they have double cut lines. And if you look at it, they're not really cut lines. They are two outlines. So if we go to View and Wireframe, you can see the uh, problem. And also, there's a line right there. If you look under Wireframe, whoop, look under Wireframe, there's a line right there that shouldn't be there. So we'll delete that. There's a couple other objects in there. Have to go over it. Uh, it's got some really rough parts to it. Um, these aren't gonna work. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go back to enhance mode. And I'm gonna, he sent a bunch of files or a bunch of um, graphics. I'm gonna delete everything but the object and I'm going to hit F4 and that proves that this is the only object on there. So we're going to go to edit, find and replace and every find and replace on different ones are different but we're going to select on this black and it happens to be an RGB black. We're going to go from selected and we're gonna go find all. Now I'm gonna control G to group those together for a second, and then I'm gonna nudge them out of the way. Whoop, I'm gonna set my nudge factor on something higher. Um, this thing is uh, less than three inches, so we'll set our nudge factor on three. And the one I'm doing it for, change your duplicate distance to zero, zero. Uh, life will be a lot easier for you. So now I'm gonna, take the black that we grouped together and you can see I didn't even group at all but we're just going to go ahead and go through all the black get the black out of there he's got some pretty neat stars um, I can't just grab the red because the um, the um, lines are broken so I'm just going to get all the black the black evidently is going to be engraved, so that'll work. Just takes a little time. It. I'm wondering. Yeah, see, this is a different colored black than the original color. The other was a solid red or solid black. There's something right there that we just can delete. So I'm just taking the stars and getting them out of the way. And there might be some other problems we'll look at, because some of the stars are, I'd almost, I mean, he's got some good looking stars like right there. Um, well, from far away, they look pretty good. I might even redraw those. See, that's like four different lines. All right, I think we got all the blacks. Now, <clears throat> got several fields. I am going to right click, and now it's all RGB black. And I'm going to go to object. Well, I'm going to try to group them together first. He wants to do a cut line. So when you do this, you don't get the boundary tool. So we're going to have to go to object group and ungroup. As soon as we do that, the boundary tool comes up. So I'm going to select it all and hit boundary. Now it, it uh, put a boundary around everything. So it's not going to really work. Um, let me think about this for a second. Well, we're going to have to just do that, and then I'm going to I'm going to nudge the boundary out of the way because <clears throat> what we want is the boundary around the leaf. I'm going to go up here and go to object and break the curve apart and try to grab that outer line, and I'm going to nudge it up. So we don't need all this other stuff. Now I'm going to put that line back, grab our black and put it down. Well, I grouped the black together, but evidently it didn't stay. Because what I want to do is get rid of those uh, stars that have a outline around them. I'm going to need, and see there's something right there we don't need. Well, that's part of the stars. Um, 
We'll fix that in just a second. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna uh, right click the mouse and have no boundary. Now I'm gonna take the red, which is a solid item and nudge it down. And then I'll nudge this back and group this together. Control G. Now we've kind of got a, a boundary around it. Let's look at it a little closer. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take this, the um, shape tool and I'm gonna get rid of that boundary right there by just taking this and moving it over here, taking the virtual segment delete key. Whoop, I hit too much and just delete that. Now we're gonna fix that in just a second. I think I'm gonna leave that star. I might leave those other stars. I'm, gonna, I'm looking for rough spots. I don't really see any, whoop, I moved it. I'm gonna move it back because I'm gonna to wanna to nudge it. I think this is gonna work. I'm gonna take now and go to effects and contour. <clears throat> I'm gonna to contour to the outside uh, point one, see what it looks like. I need to change my color to, I'm gonna do it in black. That's not enough. Uh, point one, there we go. Now let's back up here and let's go with rounded corners and see what it looks like. Whoop, I backed up and took away the point one with rounded corners. That looks pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do and see, I've just got the outline. I'm going to go to object and break the, well, what I want to do is select it all and go up to object and break the contour part. And then I'm going to get this black line. That looks pretty good. I'm going to turn it red and I'm going to make it a hairline because that means it'll cut. Now we're going to take all this and delete it. Our stars are still there uh, in our wordage. I don't really, I think you would be better off to redraw the stars and I might even make a video on that too. So I'm gonna nudge this up. So there's your cut line around it. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna group the stars together, control G and I'm gonna move them down. Now, <clears throat> some of the stars are inside that um, lettering. So what we can do, or what I would do is take the shape tool. I'm gonna to go with the three point curve line and I'm gonna draw a curve right there. And then I can take this and delete. Now, if you see, I can't delete it all because the, the, the letters are taking it up, making the smart field or the, and then, you know, if you want these inside cut lines or not, there's a couple of bad spots in your black itself. Now it's grouped together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna nudge the outline out of the way and I'm gonna go up to object, group and ungroup, get the shape tool. And I'm just gonna delete these rough spots. I'm just clicking on the node, nodes and deleting them. And you just want to, you want to go through there and do that all on everything. Shape tool. There's also some funny lines right there. Yeah, you know, there's two, two sets of lines. So what we're going to do now is go up to object group and ungroup again, because this was a second separate layer. But what I would do to make all that one piece is, well, there's a couple more rough spots we need to take care of. Uh, I don't have to do them for the video. Oop. That's one thing nice about Corel, just back up. And see, so that this is made up of different objects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select it all. I'm gonna left click right click and you can see see those lines that make up his tree two ways you could do it one you could just go through here and minutely move that stuff or we can try welding it select it all and go up to weld and weld it 
see if it worked. Sometimes that doesn't work and it didn't work in this case. So you're just gonna have to go through here and individually delete these lines. Now, whenever you get to that in a line, you just, your virtual segment delete key just happened to hit. And this is the time that you could more easily uh, fix these little indentions. And you know, some people might want that It's a, a leaf. But if we do all this, and what we're doing, we're, we're letting the, when we get to the smart fill tool, the smart fill tool will uh, fill all that in and become one part. Whoop. Looking pretty good. Um, let's take a little bit more time. And some of these lines are rough anyway. And then what's going to happen, and there's like double lines. I think we got them all. Here's a line right there we don't need. Now, let's look at it one more time. I think we got them all. Take the Smart Fill tool. Let's go ahead and put it on black. Whoop. And let's fill this in with black. That made it all one piece except for that. See, I missed that leaf. There's one more leaf I needed to do. That's one advantage. So what the Smart Fill tool does, it makes a new object. So we're going to take the Smart Fill tool, fill that in and nudge it out of the way. That looks pretty good. Delete that. Put your letters back in your stars. Now some of the stars are still in the cut lines. So you're going to have to do the exact same thing I did on the, oh, that was the line. Um, tell you what, let's do this. I don't know how the smart fill tool worked. No, that's the outline. So what we're going to do is take the three point curve line again and go from that node to that node and put a little curve on it. And what we can do to fix that is we can take our, take our black, move it down, take our letters and move it down, and then use the Smart Fill tool on this. And what that's going to do is going to fix all that leakage. Left click, right click. Every, whenever you do that, always, always look up and make sure it's a hairline so you won't forget. See, so this is all, no, it's not. I must have done the wrong one. Let me nudge this over, left click, right click. It's a hairline, so we're good to go. Move it over and down. And we still need to fix these stars. So we could actually fix them while they're on there. So we'll know, you know, I'd use the three point curve line and just do that right there. Now we can't delete those lines, but when we move the stars up, we can take the virtual segment delete key and delete that and then just move the stars back. I really think you'll be better off by, um, <clears throat> see here's a cut line right here that we could quite possibly, nope, because we do that, we're gonna get rid of the star. So, you know, if you, if you can do, okay, we need to get rid of that one and that one. So we're gonna take our stars, nudge them down. That didn't, oh, okay, I hadn't fixed it yet. And so I need to get rid of this one right here. We can do it two, one of two ways. Go up to object, break the curve apart, and then you can just click on that. And we'll click on that in any little bitty piece. Now I need to smart fill this again because I have that, that new line. And then left click, right click, make sure it's a hairline and it is. And see, we got rid of the lines on those stars. There's still a cut line. And you could actually probably change that without removing it. I'd actually take away that node by hitting delete. 
that's probably too close to the edge. That's actually going to cut through the the black part of the leaf. And we don't want that. So you can either back up or delete nodes and then bring this line up, delete one more node, bring this line up here. That'll keep it out of that black. Same thing here. Uh, too many nodes here, so I'm going to select them all and hit delete. Delete. Same thing here. We're cutting. <clears throat> you know, that's. Let me unclick it. That is a cut line. You know, I've got too many interior cut lines. Let's try this. Let's move this over. Yeah. We can just take this right here and just delete it. I think the rest of them are okay. Move it back. And I think we're good to go. Just look at it, you know, up and down and yep, we're ready to go. So this, and you know, this is, you know, your preference. Do you want that cut out of the leaf or you want it like that? You want it like that? You know, you want this centerpiece cut out? Uh, since that's really the only one left, these two, um, you know, maybe like that, if you're cutting this out of wood, that'll be a little stronger. Um, we've got one more star. So just remember whenever you um, do anything, like let's grab all four of these nodes. Always kind of smart fill it back. Let's just delete those nodes. Delete that node. There we go. So now there's no cut lines through a star. I would... And depending on how big this is, I would replace all these stars and even replace, these would be easy to duplicate. Boy, that's a long video. Hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.